I was a victim of clerical child sex abuse. It happened when I was 13. I was in hospital, quite sick, and away from my family for the first time. I was anxious and afraid, and very vulnerable. And this priest sexually assaulted me. Even though it's 50 years ago, I can never forget it. And its effect lasted my whole life. I was a very devoted Catholic. I just made my confirmation. And I believed priests were close to God, in, in the place of God. And this particular priest, he befriended me. He, he was young, he was only just out of the seminary. He began then to play games and be playful and pull down the clothes on my bed and things like that. But then he went on to actually interfere with me sexually and I, I knew it was so wrong. Each night when this happened to me, after the priest had left, I prayed so hard that it wouldn't happen again, that he wouldn't do it again. But unfortunately, he did. He did. I left that hospital a very different child than I went into it. I became quite paranoid. And by the time I was 17, I was, I was uh, in need of medical help from my anxieties. And I started on, on antidepressants and sedatives and things like that. I'd spent 30 years of my life just struggling to get by day by day, not able to work, not able to have a career, not able to be a proper mother or, or wife. And then I got help. My abuser admitted his abuse and I got some help, I got some therapy to deal with the abuse that had happened to me. And what I had seen as all those wasted years were behind me. Life was beginning for me. And I was able to enjoy it and I was able to enjoy my family. But the more people understand about the terrible life effects that can happen to a child who's been abused, the, the psychological effects, how it affects the way they see themselves, how they relate to others. All that, people need to be aware of that. So for me that's my reason for, for trying to speak and trying to help understanding of this whole horrible issue that is so widespread in, in our society. I want to thank Marie Collins for sharing her story. At the Center for Child Protection of the Pontifica Gregorian University, we want to put those who have suffered abuse in a place of priority. We want to listen to them, and we are convinced that such listening moves people's hearts and overcomes the resistance to dealing with this topic. Our mission at the Center for Child Protection is to educate those who will safeguard minors? Ce centre est situé à Rome, ce qui est quand même un lieu important pour l'Église catholique. Et cela nous donne beaucoup d'avantages. Un premier avantage serait par exemple qu'il y a pas mal de gens qui ont beaucoup d'expertise qui passent par ici. Nous sommes vraiment un centre international. Nous avons des étudiants qui viennent de partout du monde. C'est très enrichissant, pas seulement pour les professeurs, mais surtout pour les étudiants. Parce que ça leur permet d'apprendre l'un de l'autre, l'une de l'autre, parce que tous ont une certaine expérience qu'ils ont fait dans leur propre contexte. Das Center for Child Protection, kurz CCP, wurde im Januar 2012 gegründet und war zunächst für eine dreijährige Pilotphase in München angesiedelt. Ein erstes großes Ereignis war das Symposium auf dem Weg zur Heilung und Erneuerung, das im Februar 2012 an der päpstlichen Universität Gregoriana in Rom stattfand. 
Seit diesem Symposium steht das CCP für den globalen Einsatz der katholischen Kirche im Hinblick auf Präventionsarbeit, das heißt im Hinblick auf Prävention von minderjährigen und schutzbefohlenen Erwachsenen vor sexuellem Missbrauch. Ende 2014 wurde entschieden, das CCP zu verstetigen und nach Rom überzusiedeln. Der Transfer des CCP nach Rom wurde auch von Papst Franziskus sehr begrüßt, da er nicht nur den Ausbau eines interdisziplinären und internationalen Teams ermöglicht hat, sondern auch eine enge Zusammenarbeit mit anderen Fakultäten und Instituten der Gregorianer erlaubt, ebenso wie eine intensive Zusammenarbeit mit verschiedenen römischen Dikasterien. Seit der Übersiedlung nach Rom haben sich auch die Aufgabenbereiche des CCP entwickelt. Hierbei sind insbesondere der Intensivkurs, das sogenannte Diploma in Safeguarding of Minors, sowie die Weiterentwicklung des E-Learning-Programms zu nennen. Sono il network coordinator del CCP. Eh, mi occupo di gestire le relazioni con le istituzioni partner che nel mondo desiderano implementare il nostro programma e-learning. Il programma eh, e-learning non è pensato come un programma a partecipazione individuale. Per garantire il maggiore impatto possibile è importante sempre che eh, l'accesso al programma sia di gruppo. Per questo eh, le istituzioni partner che desiderano realizzarlo sono invitate a collegarle alla loro offerta formativa combinando le unità online con incontri in presenza in modo che il programma sia declinato in base alle esigenze e alle specificità culturali, sociali e anche religiose del gruppo Target. Soy la secretaria ejecutiva del Centro para la Protección de Menores y entre mis funciones está ofrecer información a potenciales estudiantes del curso de diploma en protección de menores y ayudarles con todos los procedimientos administrativos previos a su, a su llegada a Roma. El diploma en protección de menores es un programa que se desarrolla de forma presencial en Roma y a tiempo completo, con el objetivo de ofrecer una formación integral a expertos en prevención de abuso sexual de menores y protección de niños y personas vulnerables. El curso de diploma en protección de menores está organizado por el Centro para la Protección de Menores, que depende del Instituto de Psicología de la Pontificia Universidad de Gregoriana y tiene una duración de un semestre académico. Eh, pero está previsto que, además de esta formación semestral, se ofrezca una maestría con una duración de dos años que ofrecerá una formación teórica y práctica integral. Yo soy Rosaura. Yo soy Paul Balassa. Yo soy prêtre, psicólogo y psicoterapeuta. I'm Drew Dillingham from the Archdiocese of Washington DC. Eh, nazywam się Agnieszka Jarkowska, jestem siostrą kapucynką. Eh, jestem Polką, pochodzę z Polski. Mabuhay. Greetings from the Philippines. I'm Monsignor Ramon Masculino. Tengo grandes esperanzas de este programa. El primero es que como iglesia podamos realmente crear un ambiente más seguro para todos los niños. So I'm here to learn how I can help support all those throughout the United States uh, who are also working to support victims and those who have been abused, like victim assistance coordinators, like uh, directors of child and youth protection, like safe environment coordinators. Et je crois que cette formation nous aidera à être les porte-parole de l'Église, que ce soit dans notre Église ou dans le monde, pour que les gens viennent à connaître la vérité et pouvoir être libérés et se servir de ces potentialités. That also we, uh, in our church, we can have this hope that the trust will set us free. I hope to network with other uh, communities around the world so that we can, in a way, approach this situation not just in my own little world in the Philippines but also in the greater world in the society.